Good afternoon, everyone. It's E-Rock here with your High Rocks America race recap. Well, Chicago, the U.S. championship race, it was a cold and snowy day outside, but it was not what was happening inside Navy Pier on that day. It was a race that we were all looking forward to. Let's jump right into it. On the men's side, we had Hunter McIntyre coming in to defend his title as arguably the most consistent winner in the race on the American side, right? But Ryan Kent, Rich Ryan, Dylan Scott, David Makita, all these guys that were coming in to chomp at his heels and earn their spot at the top of the podium and fireworks really happened, guys. On the women's side, we had all the regular cast, the folks that we really wanted to see come out and race, plus some, right? We had Lauren Weeks, we had Rachel Vonderock, we had Alyssa Holly, which I'm really excited to see her back and healthy. Tara Jackson, Camila Mazza, but then we also had some newcomers, folks we haven't seen in months. We had Corinna Coffin, Sarah Harrison come out, so the race was stacked. From the outset, it was Ryan Kent's race. You saw him bolting in front of Hunter from the start line, getting to the ski erg first, and the gap that he had on Hunter and the rest of the athletes just kept growing. Getting to the wall balls, you could see the fatigue on Ryan Kent's face, but in true competitive fashion, he saw Hunter come into the uh, last station, the wall ball station, and he did not put that ball down. He stuck with it, earning himself a podium spot. 57.45, nearly, nearly taking away Hunter McIntyre's world record only by a few seconds. Hunter McIntyre, though, ran in a consistent and effective race. A 58.49, very good showing for him. I mean, let's, let's be mindful here, everybody, is as these record times, as we go deeper and deeper below one hour for the men, that's incredible high society. You gotta give them credit. And then obviously, as I said before, Rich Ryan coming in, a solid one hour mark. And then Cole Schwartz, a kid that just now, just the other day turned 26 years old, keeps chunking away at his times and his PRs. You know, coming off of Leipzig and then Madrid, where he was one of the top athletes there, now, one hour, 35 seconds. This is a guy that we really need to watch as we get closer to the world championships. On the women's side, the best part about this High Rock season is this emerging competition between Lauren Weeks and Rachel Vonderock, right? Both women before this race coming out with amazing, you know, life experiences that are happening with them right now. Lauren saying, you know, announcing to the world that she's pregnant. Rachel just now retiring from the army. This was going to be a fun race to watch. You know, so from the outset, Lauren Weeks, this was her race, right? She does what she does best, which is three, two, one, go. And she is out the gates flying, right? She is gonna be the faster runner against all the other women in the field. And that's what she was there to prove. A very consistent race with her all the way from start to finish, I mean, this is, this is incredible. And you saw that gap after the sleds really kind of extend if you watch the live stream. Lauren Weeks coming in at a 107.03. Definitely not her fastest, but enough to clinch that spot and win her the podium prize. Rachel, definitely coming in very consistent as well. 107.30, so right on the heels. We'll see as Lauren kind of moves through pregnancy and, and Rachel now moves into that top spot for going into the world championships. It's gonna be her race to lose. Alyssa Hawley looking strong, 108.41 for her. Very healthy, definitely getting stronger, definitely getting faster. I'm excited to see what Alyssa Hawley does. And then rounding this out, we have Chris Roglowski, we've got Tara Jackson. This is really a fun race, right? This could be the difference between where third, fourth, and fifth end up as we go into the World Championships. Camila Maza as well, incredible times. All of these ladies, are within 45 seconds of each other. So mind you, this is anyone's race going into the back part of the season. We have an insane race schedule coming up. Remember, we are only halfway through the season. We've got New York, March 5th. We've got Boston, March 19th, a back-to-back. -back. Let's see who's gonna come out for that one. And then we have, obviously, the Dallas event. What's up, Texas? We're coming back for you one more time. That one's gonna be April 9th. And then our final regular season event is going to be in Los Angeles, May 7th, the week before the big show world championship event at the Las Vegas Convention Center, May 14th. You're gonna to wanna to buy your tickets now. Spectator tickets are on sale. You can get them 
at highrocks.com. This is gonna be a fun one. We've got a whole weekend of events happening for you. We wanna see you there. Incredible race happening on Saturday and then some festivities happening on Friday and Sunday. You're not gonna to wanna to miss it. So stay tuned to Leaderboard. Go to highrocks.com for all the latest information. Follow us on social and we will see you guys on the race course.